Hi everyone, welcome to Life of Asmi. I hope you all are doing well. Recently, Devika and I went on one of the best trip of our lives, and as you watch this video, you will find out why. To begin with, the place we were going to was Racha, a gorgeous location surrounded by majestic mountains. The journey there was quite an adventure because the roads were scary but beautiful. Throughout the journey, we were focused on the beauty around us. We were invited by our flat owner Nino as she has a gorgeous house located in a small town called Khotevi. We not only got to see Racha but also experience Georgian culture with the best family ever. As we reached their house, we received a warm welcome. Nino then prepared lots of food for us and we all sat together and enjoyed the delicious meal. We also learned quite a lot about Georgian culture such as the tradition of coloring eggs red on good friday before sunset and cracking the eggs on easter sunday morning to symbolize the christ resurrection and eternal life during lunch they made many toasts for various reasons such as family and friends relationships and health the well-being of all the god's children and their soul father and many more nino and her family were the most gracious host i have ever met they not only made us feel at home but also treated us like family it was not only fun learning about georgian culture but also eye opening to find out so many similarities for example georgian and indian people both treat their guests like gods so nino if you're watching this i hope your dream of being a hostess at your own hotel does come true they also prepared a room for us and here's a room too आप मेरे चंगुल से बच नहीं सकते First, we visited an ancient church, Nikurs Minda Saint Nicholas Temple. The unique feature of this church is that every stone is carved differently, and the gorgeous wall paintings inside of the church were spectacular.
Next, we visited Shavri Lake, an artificial lake surrounded by beautiful deciduous trees. They look like painting, especially during autumn when they are at their peak glory. We also visited Barakuni Virgin Oran's church which was closed from inside but at the backside there was a gorgeous river flowing. I love the calming effect of the water flowing. And that was the end of day one. We got back home, had dinner and had a nice culture exchange talk with Nino and her sister-in-law before sleep. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for part 2 and do subscribe to my youtube channel. Bye bye!